if you're anything like me, you're the kind of woman who likes shopping, but you also like to be realistic and practical. And so because of that, you know that it takes money to buy the things that you want. So this video, I'm going to share with you some of my tips on how to finance your dream wardrobe. So stay tuned. So when building your dream wardrobe, number one, it's important to remember that it takes time and discipline. There are two ways we can go about it. We're gonna break those down. So number one is that you can decrease your expenses. If you decrease your expenses, then you have more money to allocate towards building your wardrobe and buying the items that you would like. You can also increase your income. Doing both at the same time is preferable. Sometimes you could just do one at a time. So as far as decreasing your expenses, you should eliminate anything that you pay for that you don't use. For example, we live in a day and age in which we all love to stream TV shows and movies, but maybe there's a platform that you're paying for that you don't really use. Or maybe if you look at the terms and conditions, you'll see that the price has increased for maybe something and you're like, I hardly use that platform. I don't wanna pay for that. And then you can allocate that towards um, your budget. Also, if you're a renter like me, you have renter's insurance. If you put some things on auto pay, maybe there are some things that you have on auto pay that automatically come out that you don't even give a second thought about, but that you're no longer use and no longer relevant. Now you have a different insurance, rental insurance company. Make sure that you look at those things. Unfortunately, I, I would love to say it didn't happen to me, but it did. And so once I noticed it, I'm like, wait a minute. So I called the company and they were nice enough to refund me my money for those months that started my new lease on which I had different rental insurance. So make sure you're checking what you have on auto pay and see if it's still relevant. Maybe you have a gym membership, but you never go to the gym. Then you might want to stop that and allocate that towards your wardrobe. Also, so another way to decrease expenses or maybe just to spend less. So something that I've talked about in my style and values video that I'm gonna do is no buys. So controlling what you spend your money on will also help you finance your dream wardrobe. So for me, there are some months throughout the year that I've decided I'm not buying anything. And when I say no buy, I mean anything out of the essentials is not being bought, not even a stick of gum. <laughs> that's just how hard I'm gonna be and you have to determine your why my why is because I want to eliminate debt and build up a nest egg for things that I want to buy in regards to my wardrobe so think about what your why is it can actually be really fun because what I do is whenever I've done no buys before but this year I'm gonna actually be more strict with the no buys and I'm gonna do them for more months um, but it can actually be really fun. That's the time in which you can go into your wardrobe, see what you currently have for that season, see what you can style, and you have a better idea of what where the gaps are, what items you want to buy. And those, it's just 30 days or 28 days, depending upon when you do it. I mean, or 31. But either way, these are not long times. We don't have to do it the whole year. We could just do it for certain months in a year. And it'll be fun. It's a challenge. So. Comment down below, let me know if a no buy is something that you've ever done, tips and tricks for it, and if you want to follow with me along my journey for my no buy. Also, the long term solution to having more discretionary income is to pay off debts. So that's another way you decrease your expenses, and this is a long term um, solution. It's not a short term solution, but it's a long term solution. So just think about the debts you have and how paying off these debts, what you pay each month, how much money it can free up. So for this year, I still have, well, I have student loans, but until they tell us, they're still in deferment for any of you that have student loans. Until they tell us we have to pay them, haven't been paying them. But my car note, I have a car note. I have a little over $6,000 left on my car note. So I want to eliminate that this year. Once I eliminate that, that frees up $469 a month that I can now allocate towards something else. 
So think about listing out what debts you have and then deciding how you want to pay them off. Do one at a time. So some people do their debts based on their interest. They eliminate something with the highest interest rate first. Then there are some people who decide that they're going to go by the actual amount of debt. So they will, if they have, let's say, two things that are um, a debt, they will do the pay off the $8,000 item before the $10,000 item. So just think about which way that you want to work off your debt. Now I am not a financial advisor so there are several different videos that you can look up. You can even talk to your banker. That's what I suggest. So that you can be more educated on finances in general then talk to a banker wherever you bank. So these are some ways to decrease our expenses. So we're going to eliminate or remove anything that we pay for that we don't actually use. We're going to do no buys. So we're not going to spend. We're going to be disciplined with the money that we do have. We're going to make sure it goes to where we want it to go to. And number three, we're going to eliminate debt. Now this is a long-term solution, but when you eliminate debt, then you free up more finances to go to things that you actually want to do and not things that you need or things that you owe. Next, the next option is to increase your income. So pick up extra shifts. I don't know if that's possible for some people. It depends upon where you work. For those of you who don't know, I'm a nurse. So typically I work three 12 hour shifts, that's 36 hours. But over the past year I've been working um, every other Saturday. And so it seems like, oh it's just every other Saturday, it's not that deep, but it actually has um, been good for me financial wise. So work overtime if you can, or if you can't then pick up a second job. My husband and I are really like trying to work on our finances, so he has a full time job and he also has a part time job. So something like that will help increase your income or pick up a side hustle now the side hustle will take time to cultivate into some actual finances but again these are we're not just looking for short-term solutions we're also looking for long-term solutions so that then financing our wardrobe becomes less of a burden or less of a hardship the more financially free that we become now I'm gonna talk about shopping tips now if you're like me you love to shop so I'm sure you probably have a lot of shopping tips that people have people talk about that are pretty basic or simple but I'll, I'll mention them briefly I just kind of gloss over them you know there are websites like Yolks and the Outnet that you can buy designer items from and they are past season items so they are not retail price but they're still expensive so don't expect them to be completely cheap they can still be expensive but they are designer items so outlets are good options for things i like to go to outlets there are some things that i've bought from outlets i have some gucci sunglasses that i bought from sunglass hut on my honeymoon actually and then i have a purse from coach that i bought at an outlet so those are just some options if you do want more high-end pieces or designer items you can try websites like yokes or outnet or you can go and shop at an outlet but one of my main tips if you are someone who is trying to wash your coins is to shop places that reward you for shopping so that when you do actually spend your money you actually have an, a reward for it so there are some places where the barrier to entry is just simply, it's free. You just sign up, you just give them your email, and you're in the program. And there are other places like with Neiman Marcus, Bergdorf Goodman, and Saks, the barrier to entry is a credit card. For Bergdorf Goodman and Neiman Marcus, they have an in-circle program in which you have to sign up for a credit card. And Saks has a Saks First program in which you have to sign up for a credit card. While I like those um, while I like those companies, I do not have a credit card with any of them, so I don't have any first-hand experience. So I'm just going to tell you, you can look it up on your website and join if you so choose. The two that I have currently, and I can give you more detail about, I have Nordstrom, I'm part of the Nordy Club, and I'm also part of the Banana Republic's Reward. The cool thing about Tears 
is that it's all it's based on how you shop so there's a chart which I'm gonna pull up for you because that's the easiest way to explain it and I want to make sure that I give you accurate information so I'm pulling it up now on my computer because when I tell you guys something I want to make sure that I'm right <laughs> I don't want to mislead anybody <laughs> Free to join. So to just be a ba basic member, it's free to join. The next level is influencer. So if you buy a Nordstrom or sign up for a Nordstrom credit card and you are approved, then that automatically puts you in the influencer category. After that is the ambassador. So with the member, which is what I have, it's free to join. Influencer means you spend five hundred dollars a year with Nordstrom, or if you qualify for a Nordstrom credit card, then you can start immediately at it as an influencer. I don't have the Nordstrom credit card, and but I'm still an influencer because I just like to shop at Nordstrom. <laughs> Ambassador is when you spend five thousand dollars a year. So now I don't do that, but as you shop, you unlock different rewards with Nordstrom. You have what is called Nordstrom notes. So even though you spend money, you gain Nordstrom notes. So if you are a member or an influencer. Every 1,000 points, you get 10 notes. So every $1,000 you spend, you get $10 note that you can use towards an item. Now, the only thing about Nordstrom is that they do expire. So you have to pay attention to um, when they expire. But they send you a monthly email so that you know where you are, what you've spent. And that can tell you whether you want to spend more or whatnot. The ambassador is 2,000 points and you get 20 notes. Then... As you see, there are free basic alterations that you get for each of these. I have yet to use the alterations feature at Nordstrom, but I will, and I will let you know how that um, benefit is in further videos. They also have a first to shop clear the rack, so when they go on sales, they notify you. There are certain brands that you qualify to shop at first. They have different lifestyle workshops. That depends upon where you live if you live someplace um, where workshops are available, I know if this like Seattle, there is a um, flagship store because that's where Nordstrom originated in Seattle. I know they have a lot of workshops and I believe that there are some workshops in the location in New York and Manhattan. You get personal point double point days if you are an influencer or an ambassador. And for ambassador, you can have a Nordstrom stylist style you, you get invited to invite only events, and something that I'm sure you guys have heard about if you love shopping, and that is whenever they have their Nordstrom semi-annual sale, if you are a Nordstrom car member or ambassador, then you get to shop before anybody else. Now that is the cool thing about being a Nordic Club member if you have a credit card or if you're in influencer and above because those things sell out pretty quick <laughs> that Nordstrom sale and the big thing about that sale is that it's new items that the next season from the next season and I mean what who does that it's free to join and then based on what you spend depends upon the levels that you go to but you still have a lot of benefits even as just a regular member and you just have to give an email and a phone number to join and have things now based on your rewards that you receive or based on your shopping habits so that's perfect the next one that i'm a part of is now everyone knows if you've watched my channel before i love banana republic and so banana republic has a rewards program as well and again i'm gonna pull this up because i want to really be specific and give you accurate information about their Program because when it comes to the rewards program, I've been part of the rewards program for years as well. Um, but I'm higher up on the food chain because I shop at Banana Republic a lot. So, with Banana Republic, you can do one or two things. If you have a credit card, then you earn five points with each um, dollar that you spend. If you are just a regular member and you don't have a credit card, then with each dollar that you spend, you earn a point. 
and it's free to join and so there's the barrier to entry is nothing but of course if you have a if you're a car member or you spend more then of course your rewards increase so you get a hundred points equals one dollar when you're in the um, just a regular member if you have a credit card then five points equals um, then um, 100 points equals 5. So again, we have a road map. So, Banana Republic has four different brands. Banana Republic is actually a part of Gap. So it's Gap, Banana Republic, Old Navy, and Athleta. I really only shop at Banana Republic. <laughs> so, here are the, the member types. If you're a core member, then you spend less than $500 annually at Banana Republic or any of the four um, brands. Enthusiasts, you're a car member. If you're a car member, then you start automatically at the Enthusiast or you spend $500 to $990 annually. If you're like me and you're an Icon member, then you spend $5,000, then you, um, spend $1,000 plus annually at Banana Republic. So I'm an Icon member because that's where I mainly spend my money because I really enjoy Banana Republic clothes. The cool thing about Banana Republic is that when you're a new card member, you get 20% off the first time your credit card, you can use it within the first 14 days and you earn and redeem points over time. So you earn five points for every one dollar spent as a card member and you earn one point for every dollar spent whenever you do not have a card but you're just a regular member on the track and there are special perks there's um fast shipping again alterations but that mainly applies to like men's suits you get early access to certain things i also have the app downloaded to my phone and so with that because i'm signed in and they know that i'm a card member there are certain previews that they give on the app beforehand so you know you can buy certain things before other people can. I'm a rewards member. I have $79 in rewards thus far and these do not, like you can use your rewards anytime that you want and there's not an expiration date. Well, I should say there's not an expiration date but you can basically use them like the whole year um, that you're in. So I'm going to use mine, save mine up for the whole year, and then come winter and fall and winter time, then I'm going to use them for like a really good item. <laughs> I would definitely say you should be a member. They have good quality clothing. They have good fiber content. They have the cashmere, the wools, the um, cottons. And if, even if you don't care about that, they still have other items. There are some items from Banana Republic that I've had literally since 2013 that I can still wear now. I mean, they make good quality items. I love Banana Republic. Definitely check it out. And you should join the rewards program. I mean, why would you not join a program, a place that you shop, that you can get rewards for? So Banana Republic sent me an email talking about how they valued me being a customer and being an ICON member and that they had a reward for me. So that was a couple of days ago. I didn't pay any attention to it. And then in my mail today, I received this. The packaging, the nice BR emblem. So I opened it up and it's a nice letter talking about how they enjoy me. They value me joining them on their journey and being a valued car member. And so they rewarded me with a $40 gift card. So that is so, like, that's dope. So Banana Republic really values their customers and you being a member and just a brand loyalist.